What matters most Is how well we walk through the fire Even though it can hold you back Hello my old souls Um, hope everybody is doing well I just felt called to do a reading um, to check in on Divine Masculines. Um, for those of you who are on a twin journey or just for the purposes of checking in with the Divine Masculine energy within you because we all embody both Divine and Divine Masculine and Feminine energies within us. So um, I just wanted to take um, this opportunity really just to take a peek in to see where the energy is at with our divine masculines that are out there. Um, just to want to remind you that this is a general reading, so I'll only be tapping into, um, you know, one group of the uh, masculine energies. This may not be where you are on your journey, um, but we're going to see what spirit has to say and what advice that they have. Um, I'm going to be following up later on in the week with an ener um, energy check on a, the Divine Feminine. So we're just going to take a peek at, you know, their energies, where their uh, mind is, where their heart space is, um, at what's shifting in the future for them, um, you know, and, you know, what might be challenging and um, supporting them at this time. Okay, and then at the end... I'll give some advice cards um, just to see what advice I can offer you in this situation. Okay, so we're going to start off by pulling some overall um, energy cards just to see where what the energy state is for our masculine, what our themes are for the masculine at this time. Please, um, you know, take a minute to um, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Um, my channel is growing and I really appreciate all my subscribers out there. Um, if you feel so inclined, please share this video. Okay. And you can also find me on Instagram at Old Soul 1177 on Facebook at Old Soul Tarot. I do daily readings there, um, general readings for the collective, and I post, um, you know, different things that I find helpful that I think my viewers would like on their own um, spiritual journey to see. All right, so let's look at what is the general themes that the Divine Masculine is in at this time. What is the general theme that the Divine Masculine is embodying at this time? So we have stepping into stillness. My power is born in majesty of silence. So this is really, I'm just trying to find a spot. I have stuff all over the place where I can put these cards <laughs> Um, so this is really an energy of, you know, where they're going in, taking a, a pause here and they're really, you know, turning inward to identify, you know, what it is that their soul is calling them for the calling to do. This may be a situation in which they are doing some internal healing, um, addressing some childhood wounds, um, it could be just that they're taking a break um, to recover because their life has been hectic. Um, but this card is really just talking about taking a moment to enter into that um, deep space within you um, to be still. Okay, masculines tend to be, um, you know, action oriented. So um, this is, um, you know, them pausing in that action to really reflect. Okay. Um, they, they, this is going to allow them to relax in the, and be in the present moment in the here and now. And they're turning inward in order to, you know, have this deep understanding, um, this peace, okay, that, um, 
that is going to allow them to surrender and to be, you know, able to come forward and take action with greater clarity and greater, um, you know, understanding. All right. Um, let's take another look and see what other cards, what other energies we have going on here for the masculine. Before we get too into it. So we have appreciation. Okay, so this is, um, you know, a card that is talking about appreciating the um, beauty of a situation or a person. Um, even though, if, if you look at this this woman, I know we're talking about define uh, masculine, but um, gender isn't isn't the issue. Is it's the uh, meaning behind it. So she's standing in this rose garden and surrounded by all the thorns. Okay, you can see that there is a bit of light um, here, and there are some roses here, but in but she is admiring, you know, the beauty of the rose. She's appreciating that even though there's this, um, you know, prickly, um, you know, less beautiful energy around it, it is through this roughness that the beauty of the rose is born. Um, and appreciating that it bumps along the road that, um, you know, the hardships that, are on there, the pricks that it takes when you go to pick a rose, okay, um, that, you know, births this beauty, okay, so let's pull another one, let's see what, what else, what other main themes we have here, big cards are great, but I have a little hand, so it makes shuffling a bit of a challenge for me. to have to turn them sideways. <laughs> what other main things do we have going on here? The sun. Okay. So, right now in this current energy, the masculine is really, you know, taking a pause. Okay? to take time to really appreciate the beauty that's in their life, to taking time to appreciate, um, you know, the messages, the lessons that they've learned that have helped them grow, okay? Um, they may be going through a bit of a, some of the masculines may be going through an awakening. Um, the sun is also an energy of the masculine, okay? So this is representing... Um, them, their embodiment of their action oriented, um, you know, passionate, um, you know, um, taking the initiative energy. Um, it is, you know, acknowledged by many cultures as being a masculine force. Okay. Um, but this is talking about um, a time to come out of, you know, the darkness, okay, and really savor the life-giving light of um, our main star, the sun here, okay. Um, it's going, this is an energy of rekindling passion, um, yeah, you know, rebirthing that creative energy, um, shining really bright, um, you know, with, you know, positivity, getting out there, be you know and just embodying that abundant energy that um those good vibes that happiness okay um this cheerful energy so it looks like right now in the energy um is that the masculines are taking a pause to internally reflect um to really step back into their masculine power through appreciating the lessons that they had learned and the beauty of, um, you know, the, the struggle that they have had to, to endure to get to the point where they're at at this time. So let's um, take
take a look at where their headspace is at at this moment. What is the masculine thinking at this time in their journey? We have the Six of Swords, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Three of Cups. Okay. So right in the center here of their mind, um, they're really thinking about, you know, practicality. They're really thinking about um, you know, hard work, um, they may be, you know, and they may be thinking about the feminine as, you know, this beautiful, um, you know, knowing their worth, okay, um, being loyal, not being afraid of hard work. And they're definitely moving out of an energy um, that was not serving them which may be why they have stepped into the stillness to learn from the lessons, okay? Um, <laughs> these cards kind of mirror the ones up, up ahead, okay? So they're moving on from a, a difficulty that they had been ex experiencing. And they're thinking about how they're best going to, um, you know, take the lessons that they've learned and leave behind, you know, the negativity and the destructive behavior, leave their worries and fears behind and step into this stable energy, into this, you know, confident, um, knowing their worth, knowing, you know, um, you know, this hardworking, determined energy that is, that is um, secure and stable. All right. So that they can celebrate and feel positive and, and, and they're really wanting to, you know, have, you know, celebrations of, of this uplifting energy, okay? They really are thinking about how they're going to move past these, um, this hard energy here that they may have um, been in into a more stable, fun, enjoying, joyous, abundant energy, okay? Let's take another look at... Um, the energy of their thoughts. Where are, where are the thoughts? What is the another card of en the energy of their thoughts here? You and your loved ones are safe. Okay, so the masculine um, has been thinking about, you know, the hard times that they have been experiencing. They've been, you know, really worried about what has been going on in their personal life. I mean, with the way the energies of the whole collective planet with um, the virus that's going around and the ice, social isolation and the scariness. Um, that is being portrayed in the media of it has really had really caused the, um, you know, masculine to have some anxieties about um, life in general, okay? And they've been thinking about how they're going to embody this um, Queen of Pentacles energy to really step into their power, to really um, know their worth and have this sense of stability and security and safety um, and wanting, you know, to have the this joyous, abundant time where they could get together and socialize again. And so their thoughts are really so centered on, you know, how are they, are, are they safe? Are their loved ones safe? Um, it, what's going on um, in their internal immediate circle? They may be thinking about, you know, um, it, the feminine and how, how is she, she doing at this time? Um, but they're really, you know, in their head, okay? They're doing a lot of thinking. They're trying to be logical and practical um, so that they can 
um, reap the benefits and have a very joyous time. Let's take a look at what's going on in their heart space. What's going on in the Divine Masculine's heart space at this time? What's in their heart? What's the energy in their heart? Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords. Is that anxiety again? And we have the Ace of Cups. All right, so in their heart, they're seeing, you know, the feminine as being, you know, really good on their own. Um, they see her as, um, you know, being accomplished and secure and maybe that for some of them, they are um, wanting in their heart to fly solo and spend some time, you know, really on their own so they can really, um, you know, step into this stillness to uh, learn from their lessons and um, be able to come out um of it renewed and rejuvenated okay um in the center here we of their heart though they have these anxieties that are trapping them they're feeling you know paralyzed and trapped and um they they're really withdrawing okay they're trying to you know you know protect their heart space here okay um of course this is because they've blindfolded themselves they're not seeing the truth of the situation that they're in um they may be doing a bit of um you know an ostrich energy where they're like la, 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 i'm not gonna see what's going on um i don't want to know i just want to live in a, my fantasy world um <clears throat> but they're gonna really have to move out of that energy in order to come forward in in action and love okay and, and into a, a time that is going to be really more fulfilling for themselves okay let why let's look at this eight, um eight of swords why is the eight of swords in their heart space okay so yeah, they have in their heart, they have fears about, still about the future, okay? They are worrying about, um, you know, what is going to be coming still. Um, what is the life going to be like for them st in the future? Why this Nine of Pentacles? Ten of Swords. Okay, so they feel like they have, you know that they've really hit rock, rock bottom, that they're experiencing some loss here. Um, there is definitely this, you know, ending. They may be ending a cycle and maybe it's a relationship that they're in that has been, you know, triggering them um, to feel un unstable, um, unhappy, okay? And they are taking this time, um, you know, they know that they need to make this change Okay, and they're taking this time to really want to step into their own independence, okay? And it's scary because this is a new um, path for them, a new life um, path that they're going to be choosing to look for and step into. And, it, and it's causing them anxiety. Um, but ultimately, they're going to be coming out uh, of this journey that they're on in a, an abundant energy. So it may be um, that they are going to be entering into a time of no contact as they turn inward and they battle their fears and they step into their stillness and learn to appreciate the lessons that they learned, that the, the swords and the, and the thorns of the rose um, represent the lessons to me. Um, and they maybe have been hard lessons that were painful um, for them, but out of these hard painful lessons comes this beautiful flower and this beautiful you know change um and they learn to appreciate the situation for what it is and they're able to step into this new um, prosperous abundant time let's look at the ace of cups here the empress yeah so um 
now it you know in their heart space they're looking towards you know ending this this i'm thinking this is a karmic cycle that they're in they know that it needs to come to an end they know they need to step into their um independence and, and um and you know look towards change in the future but it's bringing them anxiety they know that they have to do it in their heart but they're afraid um, but once they do, they're going to be able to come forward because the Empress represents the Divine Feminine and offer this cup of love to the Divine Feminine. Look at another card of energy in their heart space. Energy is gaining momentum. Yeah, so um, they're... They're, they know what they need to do. They know they need to end this karmic situation that they're in. They know they need to leave this, this, it could be a job that is not serving them. And it's causing them, you know, anxiety um, about the future. What is it going to look like? But ultimately, once they make the decision to do it, um, they're going to be able to come forward. They want to come forward in their heart space to have this beautiful, loving energy for the fe feminine and fem feminine and they are, you know, the energy to, towards making this step, to making this change is building in their heart space, okay? It's gaining momentum. They're, they're coming to the conclusion that they need to do this, okay? Um, what might be challenging the masculine at this time? What is challenging the masculine at this stage in his journey? Four of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Death. So what's challenging them right now is um, they know intuitively they need to take this pause, okay? That they need to rest. They need to, um, you know, rejuvenate themselves um, in order to, um, you know, transform their energy to move out of this cycle um, to release the negatives that they're in and to move into the next phase of their life to prepare for this new beginning with this Ace of Cups, okay? They know intuitively they have to do it, um, but this is a challenge for them. You know, taking that pause, you know, really doing it for themselves and, and transforming is going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge. What's going to be support? What is supporting the masculine at this time? We have the Hierophant. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have a lot of Major Arcana supporting. And the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so um, what is, you know, supporting the masculine at this time is finding balance, okay? It may be balance between work and their life. It may be balance in their love life between their heart and their head. Um, you can see that the, this is up near his head and this is down closer to his heart, you know, trying to find that balance, um, you know, multitasking and, and, you know, you know, weighing the options of obligations between uh, at obligations and responsibilities, but finding that balance is going to help them. Okay. And the wheel of fortune is, you know, positive change, good luck. Okay. Moving forward, forward movement, um, you know, taking these opportunities, looking at the divine timing, knowing that a spirit in the universe has their hand in this, okay, with the Hierophant, okay, um, really, you know, trusting their higher wisdom and, and stepping into their spiritual practice, okay, so when they honor these traditions and they find these con this control and balance and predictability and order in their life, um, this is going to bring them into a new cycle. It's going to be divinely orchestrated and, and it's going to bring about positive um, good luck for them, okay, in finding balance, which will allow them to, you know, move into the next phase of their journey. So what's shifting for our masculines here? What is shifting? Whoa, way too many. That's a lot of shifting going on here. What's going to be shifting for our divine masculine? 
in the near future. Okay, Five of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so what's going to be shifting is that they're going to be leaving this energy of, you know, fear of abandonment, of loss, okay? Um, they're going to be able to embrace those feel fears and take this leap of faith to put in the work that is needed to plant the seeds that is going to result in them being able to have um, an abundant harvest of whatever it is that they're embodying and working for, okay? Um, this will help them, you know, achieve accomplishment and to find their stability, okay? This is talking about, you know, having patience, putting in the work and knowing that good things um, take time. They can't be rushed, but they're going to move out of this state. Um, they're going to be shifting from this energy of fear and lack and, you know, loss and abandonment and, you know, uh, suffering. And they're going to have this new beginning where they're going to take this leap of faith and they're going to put in the work that is going to be needed to help bring about this sun, this abundance that they're seeking. Okay, let's pull another card on their energy. What is shifting here? One more card on the shifting. Okay, communication is key. So um, <clears throat> what's going to be shifting is their ability to communicate. They may be coming once they, um, you know, have let go of these fears and they have put in the work that they need to, um, you know, make this transformation here um, and to really embody their lessons learned and, and appreciate um, the beauty of their situation. They're going to come forward with some form of communication. Um, with to the divine feminine okay they're going to be communicating um, you know what has been going on in their life and what changes they have made okay this may be this offer of love that we saw with the ace of cups here they may be um, you know coming be able, being able to come forward and offer something truly tangible truly um, stable with the feminine so um, I'm going to pull up Part of advice for you, viewer, um, uh, that should help you at this time in your journey here. These cards are, again, I, like I said, I have little hands on the card to shuffle. Okay. I have control of the vibration I offer. So this is card number 11. Okay, once you begin to believe or expect good feelings, good feeling things to come in your vortex, and, are once, and once you get in there, now you are cooperative component. Now you get to rendezvous with all the good stuff that you have put there, and you can train yourself there. You can do it in a day. You have control of everything that rendezvous with you when you get control of the vib vibration that you offer. And you get control of the vibration that you offer when you care about how you feel. So um, the advice here is that you have control. Um, you can support your device. You have control of your feelings, okay? You cannot control um, the outer aspects of what's the divine masculine's feeling because that's his journey. Um, but you have control over your journey and you have control over your feelings. And the vibration that you offer because um, like attracts like and you're on this, this journey, okay? Um, you can support your... Um, masculine at this time by offering up positive vibrations yourself okay because that will be mirrored back to them which will help them in this you know internal 
this quiet time that they're in where they're doing their reflection, they're doing their learning, they're doing their growing and they're appreciating so that they can be reborn into this renewed, rejuvenated, abundant energy. Okay. Um, so support, this is a win-win for you because you are raising your vibrations. You are staying positive on your journey, um, but you're also mirroring that out to your, your um, counterpart here. Okay, so I hope this, um, you know, brings you some insight and I really look forward to connecting with you again. Again, if you have not subscribed and click the bell notification, you might want to do that because later on in the week, I'll be uploading um, an energy check on our Divine Feminine to see where she's at um, on her journey at this time. So um, thank you again and I look forward to connecting with your energy. Bye now.